hybrid vehicles have come a long way since they went mainstream with the very successful Toyota Prius. Now in its fourth generation with featuring an 8.8 kilowatt hour battery and the plug-in Prius that is good for all electric range of about 40 kilometers. This is a big jump from the earlier generation Priuses that featured a traction battery pack that was about 1.3 kilowatt hour that would give you maybe 4 kilometers of all electric range at low speeds before the ICE kicks in. The biggest fear amongst the people who can potentially afford brand new EVs is range anxiety coupled with the fact that outside South Africa, the public charging infrastructure in sub-Saharan Africa is not yet widely developed. The new generation of German luxury plug-in hybrid SUVs with impressive real-world electric range could be a perfect bridge to gap in the transition to full electric mobility. The new BMW X5 xDrive 45e comes with a 24 kilowatt hour battery pack that's good for a range of about 80 kilometers, which is impressive for an SUV of its size. To put that into perspective, the first generation all-electric Nissan Leaf had a 24 kilowatt hour battery. Most people's urban daily round trips range from 30 to 40 kilometers. In city driving cycles, it's quite possible to get about without using much of the 3 liter ICE incorporated in the X5 X Drive 45E. The X5 X Drive 45E's impressive range is also perfect for some of the popular commutes to satellite towns, such as the 70 km Harare Marondera in Zimbabwe, the 66 km Pretoria Johannesburg in South Africa, the 90 km Nairobi Naivasha, and the 45 km Nairobi Thika in Kenya. Mercedes does even better with its GLE PHEV. The GLE 350 de Matic has an impressive 31.2 kilowatt hour battery pack that's good for about 100 kilometers and equipped with DC fast charging capability that supports a maximum DC charge rate of 60 kilowatts. The battery can be charged in approximately 20 minutes from 10 to 80 percent state of charge. It has an impressive top speed of 160 km per hour under electric power, 210 km per hour overall. The fact that it can go all the way up to 160 km per hour under electric propulsion is great given that the speed limit in most of these countries is circa 120 km per hour, meaning most of the popular commutes highlighted above can be navigated in 100% electric drive. The GLE 350 Deformatic's weighted fuel consumption is listed as 1.1 liter per 100 kilometers with weighted CO2 emissions of 29 grams per kilometer. The weighted power consumption is stated as 25.4 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. The 31.2 kilowatt hour battery pack is larger than a lot of full battery electric vehicles on the market and not too far off some popular full battery electric models such as the e-golf at 35.8 kilowatt hours. Mercedes really take advantage of the vehicle size to fit a decent battery pack. Under the EQ power label, the Mercedes GLE 350 Deformatic is a PHEV that maybe even the purest of EV fans may accept as a good compromise slash stepping stone to full electromobility. Mercedes and BMW already have an existing network of partners and dealerships in many countries in Africa. This presence makes it easier for these models to reach Africa, giving them an advantage over many of the other new and energy vehicle manufacturers. PHEVs are more likely to be available on the market in large numbers as compared to full EVs and these two models can be game changers in the African market by helping in changing mindsets and play a crucial role in the transition. We certainly hope dealers across the continent such as Inchcape and DT Dobi in Kenya as well as Quest Motor Corporation and Zimco in Zimbabwe also start to actively promote the new generation of hybrids and push hard to bring the full electric models from the German brands to this part of the world.